Hey, Jeff. Hey, Drew. Check out this sweet ride. That is a good looking car. Yeah. It's orange. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's about to get messed up. Okay. Because this is next car game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that anything about the name of that game really implies that the car is going to get messed up. Yeah, you're right. But it's uh, not the most inventive. I will take your word for it. Uh, title. I don't. Um, I, I can't imagine that's going to be the real. No. It can't be. Name of it, right? I mean, it's, this is this is on early access right now. Not a final game whatsoever. Uh, one might call it unfinished. One might call it unfinished. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is the next car game from Bug Bear. Yeah. Uh, the developers of the Flat Out series. Uh, they also made Ridge Racer Unbounded. Yeah, they did. Which um, had some interesting ideas, but was not necessarily a yeah. Ridge Racer game. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm going to just race, Jeff. Okay. Um, so you have a couple of cars here to choose from? Yeah, I've got two cars. Uh, I can choose uh, some traction control here. I actually turn anti-spin off because I, I don't know, I felt like it was... Doing weird stuff to my handling. Right. Well, um, you are getting into a derby. You want? It's true. Uh, there's no, f there's no forward. It's just an arena. Yeah. This is just, this is just Thunderdome. Yeah, and this is so. There, th this is something that I guess they've been, like, doing kind of a, you know, back it through a Kickstarter, but without Kickstarter. Like they're just taking pre-orders on their site for this. They did a Kickstarter, but they canceled it. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know if it was because uh, they weren't going to make it or if they just wanted to do pre-orders through their site or what, uh, but it did not reach the end of its Kickstarter. Well, this says they have raised 600 grand and they've been working on it for a year and right now they're doing like a, you know, yeah, it's an early access thing. You pre-order now, you get access to this demo, which they're calling Technology Sneak Peek 2.0. Okay. Next car game, Technology Sneak Peek 2.0. It's catchy. Let's do it, Jeff. All right. What do you think the, the strategy here in the opening for a uh, demolition derby is? Uh, turn around. Oh, uh, okay. It, it kind of depends on how much they're modeling, you know? Okay. That's, uh, and, and how they're kind of basing score. And, you know, it, there, there have been a lot of games that have done demolition derbies over the years, and uh -huh. they've been really fun, but they have not been realistic hmm. to how real demolition derbies work. Okay. So I, I am sort of unfamiliar with the minutia of demolition derbies. I understand it in theory. Well, in theory, you want to hit people with the back end of your car because you don't want to take too many engine shots. Got it. Okay. So that's that's sort of the, the first and foremost thing. Well, down is... there in the lower left, I've got a, an engine icon. Um, okay, yeah. It's, it's red right now. That's, so that's no good. I, so... uh, I'm, I messed this up already. Yeah, gen generally speaking, you, oh, my you, wheel wanna, is... you want to try to run into people with the back end of your car uh -huh. or slide out such so that the rear quarter panel is slamming into their engine. Got it. Um, okay. And but I, I guess I don't really know what they're modeling in terms of. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's see, like sweet. If you, if you look at how much of the engine you can see there and how it is raised up in that weird position, this car would not run. <laughs> if this was a real <laughs> simulation, this probably would be this is cool. screwed up. But I guess it says critical damage right on the screen, so right, that yeah. makes sense. Damage is critical. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There are 12 people remaining. That's not, a, that's not a live that's car. That's not a live oh. car. You guys, I want you. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, nice. take down. You seem to have no doors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what my car, yeah. Look what my car has become, Jeff. Are you driving oh. a dune buggy all uh, of a sudden? I Shouldn't have done that. Well, you got a couple of takeouts right there at the yeah, end. So, uh, you know. with the way this is being scored, uh, I would advise to actually not race into the center at the very beginning of, of the event. Okay, let's retry that. And take all that damage. You know, it's last man standing. So, like, takedowns are important, but survival is maybe more so. So, I would just turn around right now. Like, just, you know, bust you and then back into that. Oh, that's not a good rear view. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah that's. Okay. It's weird reversing your uh, your wheel movement, yeah. but also your acceleration is now 
break is backwards. Oh, and right. Go yeah. is break. Mm, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's no good. That's not. That's not a good. I'm that's gonna, not a good. It's a good place to be. I wonder. Did they ever let you out of that? Do you, oh, you can reset. Okay. Yeah, I can reset. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do like these. He's like. Oh, oh, oh no. Nice. You took a hard shot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that car jumped. That's bad. There's like a mania these, going on over real there. Real demolition derbies. You probably don't want. To, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You should probably what get. What are you guys doing? You should get in on that. You should get in on that. All right. Fly off that ramp. <laughs> Backwards? Sure. If you can swing it. Ah. Oh. I guess they've they've a lot of them have gotten out of that corner or the ones that could. This would be the most awesome demolition derby to watch in the world with this ramp and this other stuff, except that real cars can't take beatings like this oh, usually. Boy. Usually. Yeah, they got a driver. Okay, it just reset me automatically. Okay. Okay. A, I see a bunch of guys driving around backwards. They get, they know the right idea. Right. They got yeah. their. Uh, but yeah, so the, AI I mean, the, programmed well. You know, if you think about like destruction derby for the PlayStation One, mm. which was like. Not the, the first, but like maybe the first modern polygonal demolition derby game. Uh, it was awesome, but they judge scoring by like how far you made the other car turn when you hit it. Oh, so weird. like you wanted to hit it in a very specific way so that it spun. And if it did a 360, you got more points. And, you know, like it was this weird scoring system that was. I suppose if you're approaching it from like an entertainment aspect, like if you want to entertain the crowd yeah. with like spinning cars and that looked like a hard hit right yeah. uh, but at the same time like it, it was just it was conceptually really weird from like a you know a realistic demolition derby perspective like realistic real demolition derbies at least the ones that I have uh, oh. watched or you know been like semi involved in uh, you're gonna have to explain that one semi involved <laughs> uh, were you the guy pouring the concrete in the doors? Yeah, yeah, I was the guy pouring the cement down the doors. No, uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've been in the pits for demolition derbies oh, and wow. stuff like that. And it's uh, basically like judges judge who wins a demolition derby. Oh, OK. Um, so it becomes a matter of like, you need to be active. You need to be out there doing damage constantly. If you're just hiding and then coming in at the end and hitting someone, you're not going to win. Okay. You might be the last car standing, but you you wouldn't win. It's not the spirit. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. One left. Yeah. Is that him in the, that, in the red there? That might be. Yeah, they probably need some kind of like arrow on Indicators. screen eventually that, that says, hey, who's the... Oh, yeah. Is that guy moving? Uh, you are stuck. I am stuck. I'm going to reset. Okay. I got a handbrake. All right. What is going on with my tires? There he is. Yeah, this <laughs> this car would not. <laughs> That's great. Where you go? Oh no! The red menace. <laughs> the physics in this are great. Yeah, those cars really fly around. Yeah. Oh, I turn my. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. But yeah, also, you know, the other thing about demolition derbies is cars are rarely all the way out of it. Mm. Like if a car gets knocked out and its engine dies, you know, usually the guy in the car is frantically trying to find a way to get it going again. Got it. Uh, they'll put two batteries in, like they, they put the batteries inside the car. And they'll oh, have like a fresh in, battery. like In the driver compartment? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so they'll be removing, like... they'll be clamping onto the other battery, trying to get it started that way. Huh. Uh, you know, sometimes it, a, a dead car will get hit in such a way that f lets it fire up. Huh. Um, so you'll have guys kind of come back from the dead in a demolition derby and, and, and start going again. And That's kind of cool. I always thought it would be really cool if someone made just a straight up demolition derby sim that actually tried to model all of that stuff. But oh man, like going in and changing batteries yeah. and stuff and yeah. Huh. Um, well, uh, this game is um, will have a well plan to have a uh, you know buying components um, okay. part of it. Yeah, uh, you can change tires here. All, all I've got in this in this version is uh, tires and engine. Mm. Um, all right. Uh, there are options here for repair, research, car info, test drive, sell car, and set as favorite. None of these work now. 
All right. Um, and I've only got these two cars here. What's the What's the other car look like? Uh, uh, it's like a mini sort oh, of okay. deal. Yeah, that's. Um, I, don't, I don't know that I would want to take that into a. No, not a, a derby. derby unless it was all those types of cars. Um, but they fun. do have other things like uh, you can do twelve cars. I don't know why you wouldn't just twenty four cars all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, maybe your computer can't handle it. Uh, they got races as okay. well. So there's right now there's the, the the derby in the stadium, and then races on gravel tracks and a tarmac track. Mm. All right. Um, so you want to try a race? Yeah. Let's race with the. Uh, let's go back here and make sure I've got gravel tires on. Oh, yeah. Um, that seems like it'd be important. Yeah. Uh, they, they did say, uh, yeah, let's increase the horsepower there. You can see it's a class two car. Ah. Uh, they did say about the purchasing of um, upgrade parts that it won't just be, uh, you won't just be able to magically buy stuff. You'll be able, you have, you have to go through um, a classified ad. So you've got to, the, right. like, every item won't always be available. You have to look at the classifieds. And sometimes that part may just suck. It may break, you know, okay. when yeah. you get hit. Right. Um, I thought that was a really cool idea. Yeah, that's neat. And the, uh, the parts are also modeled um, semi-realistically. So you won't just get a part that increases your top speed. You know, you'll get a turbocharger, uh, like a big or a small turbocharger. Um, and then that'll have implications for your acceleration. There will be turbo right. lag. You yeah. know, you may want a small turbocharger for a short track, uh, or a, a, a larger one for one with more straightaways. That okay. kind of thing. Um, and I'm assuming. Oh man, really regretting that anti-spin now. Right. Um, you know, you're gonna start with a beater, uh, earn up some money, and then yeah. You know, and, and these guys did the, the flat out games. So I mean, they've they've shipped products before. Um, not necessarily a new crew coming into it. I'm not doing so hot here, Jeff. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, you're not last. True, huh? but one guy wiped out. Look at that drift. Wow. The control seems hyper loose. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe also because I put that larger engine in, and that, ah, that makes yeah. it harder. Uh, Okay, let's let's focus here. Oh. Mm. Also, I mean, you are on gravel. Like I am on gravel. Yes. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Fuck that sign. I do like that all this stuff is destructible. Like most games, if I just went up to this fence right here and hit it, oh nice. It would just. How far can you go? Let's find out. This wall of trees here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's reset. I am using a controller, Xbox 360 controller. Mm. Um, you know, triggers go and stop. Got a handbrake on B. Can look behind me with the stick. You know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pretty standard stuff. I, so I didn't play a lot of the Flat Out series. Um, I tried to here and there. They were they were all right. Kind of you know they were they were not simulation games. Right. And they oh. were they were you know kind of fun loose action. Uh, that looked pretty nice. Yeah. But uh, I don't know that I, I you know, I, I didn't necessarily like become a huge flat out fan. Like they were cool games. Um, and given that no one makes games like these anymore. Oh man, oh look at that. <laughs> Physics! That's just fantastic. Like this is not the arcade, like flat out is not the arcade style racing game that is popular right now. Right. Uh, kind of take what I can get. Yeah. So, uh, I will, I will like say a, a new game from the people that made Flat Out sounds great right about now. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the oh god, all this slight in this. I didn't have this uh, much trouble when I was playing <laughs> it before. Uh, maybe it is the, the the playing games and talking effect, but um, but I do enjoy the the handling. Uh, it, it, it is very squirrely. Um, and I don't know if that's a result of uh, our cars being kind of, you know, old and beat up uh, and not exactly high performance machines yeah. uh, or what, but uh, they're slidey, but it's, but it's fun. You know, I can, I can, when I do hit a drift real nice, it's, it's fun. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it feels good. It feels good. And I am, you know, the more beat up I get, the harder it is to keep straight and level. Oh, so it does have a, a, a realistic, well, realistic, it, 
It is modeling. It will impact that. your handling. Yes. Okay. Somewhat. As your car gets thrashed. I just want I want to take out the tires right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Mm. No frame rate dip. That's impressive. Individual tires. And 24 cars on a dirt track. Like that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not necessarily kicking up a lot of dirt off this dirt track. True. Oh. Uh. uh that that'd be nice to see some more particle effects and stuff like that. Yeah. I guess, oh. you know, there's a little bit Zoom. coming off that car ahead of you. Yeah, and my, you know, tire tracks and stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's let's do, try that other track. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that other track with, the, with that, uh, the first car. Yeah. Uh, there's also a practice mode if you don't want to have other cars. Yeah. Although, come on. Yeah, that's, yeah. All right, what do we got? That one's on tarmac, so let's do tarmac tires, and sure, I'll keep that, that big engine. Rock and roll. All right. Uh, they say they are planning multiplayer. Mm -hmm. um, they're shooting for 12 people online, but may go more if they can. Huh. Um, I, I, I wonder how multiplayer uh, works with all this physics. Like, is that stuff synced across people? or? Uh, and there's some stuff that they would absolutely have to sync and some stuff they don't. Oh, like, they God. Don't... Look at this. It depends on which objects would actually have a, a major impact on car handling and stuff. Right. Um, like, do you need to model every single tire uh, if in, in a wall of tires if they get hit knocked around? Like, probably not. Right, because they, they seem to do nothing to impede you right. uh, when you run over them. So. Yeah, so if that's just pure... Cosmetic, yeah. essentially. And it doesn't really matter if, if that stuff gets synced. There's no AI difficulty slider. Uh, I was looking for mm. one, but um, I, I have not done very well. Granted, I've only you know played a handful of races, but uh, these guys are continuing to kick my butt. Uh. Whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ooh, look at that concrete. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Oh. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm already in bad shape. Uh, It'll be fine. Yeah. You know, generally, I like to play um, from the first-person perspective, but uh, sometimes that's a little <laughs> tough in this yeah. game. Oh, oh. Yep. Yeah, it's, you know, with the collisions having, oh, you know, geez. some amount of priority, that looks nice. Yeah. Uh, with the collisions having some amount of priority and them having a demolition derby and stuff like that, like you want the situational awareness that a third person view is going to give you. Yeah, definitely. You can see people sneaking up on you and trying to spin you out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man, my, yeah, this is getting real hard to control. That was actually the hardest thing. The the one time I was in a demolition derby car was uh, situational awareness, like keeping track huh. of like. Like you, because you know you, you can look behind you and you're just trying to set up a shot and going like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna really nail this guy, but at the same time, like you People got three, three cars you. coming at you, yeah, uh, that will totally mess up your awesome lined up shot. Yeah. Um, Man, that's awesome. My neck hurt for about a month Ooh. afterwards. Man, totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it. That sounds really fun. Uh, there's also like the other, other big kind of like demolition derby rule is don't hit the driver's side door. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so you end up seeing a lot of situations where guys have lined up really good shots, and they're they're racing across, you know, like just going for it, and then suddenly slam on the brakes because a driver's side door has gotten in their way. Right. Or the the other driver has turned to put that. I think you turn to Ooh, put that, that forward on people, then yeah, that's maybe you that's know. kind of a. Nefarious. Well, it's it's why there are judges. It's you know they have to look at it and go like you know who's what happened here. Oh. Is this person intentionally trying to uh, do you know door shots, right? Or or is or is that just kind of you know accidental contact? Hmm. 
15th. It's better than last time. Yeah. Oh, I would like a uh, an after action report of <laughs> who is DNF. Like, am I actually beating people or am I just a, Right, or these cars just getting just, thrashed. Yeah. Well, oh. you passed that burned out husk and did not gain a position, so that car's been there for a bit. Oh, whoa. It's kind of some real visible, like, level of detail on those walls popping in there. Yeah. Uh, I think all around it looks pretty good. Yeah. Whoa, yeah, I mean, for like a, you know, a, a preview version that that they are uh, continuing to work on, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, so that's uh, that's next car game. Next car game. Uh, it's right now uh, on sale. It's usually thirty, but it's on sale for twenty-five dollars on Steam right now. Um, but that's a pre-order for a full a, game. It's like a pre-order. This, this thing you get here probably not worth that probably amount of not money worth that. at this point. It's pretty fun. Um, I can't wait to see what they do with it. Yeah. Uh, there is there is a pre-order bonus version as well for $35, normally 45 That gets you an extra car and some uh, wallpaper and soundtrack and stuff like that. Do you that. get that extra car in this? Or do you, is it no. like that's for, the, that's for the final game? I think it's for the final okay. game. Do you know if they have any kind of like planned timetable for getting it out there? That, like uh, the, Their site says they've been working on this for over a year now. Uh, uh, I yeah, I, I don't know when they're projected to have a, um, a final release, but, uh, you know, I guess check their site. Yeah, cool. For, uh, for updates. Yeah, looks kind of cool, Drew. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm gonna be watching this closely. I think I'd, uh, really like to see more games like this. Um, yeah, definitely. It, it's, like, like I said, you know, the only arcade-style racing game these days really kind of is Need for Speed. Uh, and, you know, these guys like Bugbear, you, you know, they used to do all the flat out games, you know, Burnout used to be around, like there used to be a lot of competition for this style of game and it just doesn't exist anymore. So like, it's kind of cool to, to see that someone's out there at least trying to carry the torch for this sort of stuff. Totally. Yep. More power to them. Absolutely.